What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly Tokyo Ghoul video this week on Tokyo Ghoul Re Chapter 97 called Body Alone. Now, this week, once again, I'm here to bring all of you a live reaction, and I've been told that this chapter is fucking ridiculous. There's been hype building up to it all day, apparently. I'm looking at the cover right now. It already looks fucking badass because... You know, this character. We haven't seen this character since part one Tokyo Ghoul. Just gotta say, right now, last week's chapter got me hyped, especially with the Almond stuff. You know, Almond, you know, saying what he said to Sato. I'm just curious exactly if we're gonna get any more continuation of that in this chapter. But anyways, let's begin. Let's start this chapter. The wait is killing me. I've been waiting all day for this chapter to get translated because I honestly didn't think we we're gonna get a chapter day. But thankfully, we managed to get one. So, let's see. What's with the face? A black mask he's seen before. You look like you've seen a <laughs> Ever since the Rosewald operation, why do I always have to go up against these super unexpected opponents? He does, doesn't he? I, I didn't realize that. He always goes up against opponents. He hmm. Alright, okay, next page. Okay, cover page. Skip that. Skip that. Okay. Black Dog. So, oh, wow. Going up against two people at once. Hmm. I thought they wiped out every last member of your group. Damn, the acrobatic skills. She hasn't lost touch yet. Oh, shit. Did she? Yeah, she just came over and then pushed off. Damn, that's some skill right there. Holy shit. Okay. Change. Yeah. Oh, they're changing out. Okay, change. Yes, please. Okie dokie. So they just changed out. It's like swapping out in a, in a fighting arena or something. Am I seeing that right? My boy! My boy! Whoa, 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 Let me back up a page. Okay, so, Black Dog coming in. Okay, just kind of attack. Showing the acrobatic skills. Dodges the swipe. Sukiyama pops up and says, Change? With a question mark. And then, yes, please. So, they change out and they start focusing different targets. And then, Sukiyama breaks this man's quick. Yo, my boy! Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. So Sukiyama just broke this man's quinque. Now, once again, let's just throw some spotlight on to the CCG agent that just had his quinque broken. This is the CCG agent that manhandled a ghoul with his bare hands. So when you think about it like that, Sukiyama, you might have awoken the beast. This man might try to grab you and just start breaking your fucking neck with his bare hands. So, damn. Okay, so the fight's gonna get real now. Sukiyama going in, and this man's probably gonna bring out the beast inside of him. Okay, so Sukiyama kicks this man. He gets up. Take Omi, uh, ta Takeomi, get back. I, I thought it was two different words. Uh, Takeomi, get back. Use my spare. Okay, so use his spare, Quinke. So in a heated fight, Naki and Misa are fighting together. Oh, shit, he got a wound, uh, but it's right above his eye. Oh, that's going to bleed a fuck ton. Shit, right above my eye. Nice, Grandma, I'm not whatever, fine. Good work. Okay, so, wow, he just got a wound above his eye. And if you know, when it comes to wounds, like wounds right here on the forehead or whatever, right above your eye, that's a shallow wound. It may not seem like much that's very damaging, but it will bleed quite a bit, and it'll just get into your eye to where you can't focus. And so, pretty much, right now, at this moment, his entire left field of vision is fucked up. It's completely fucked, because that blood is just going to constantly keep pouring out of the top of his eye onto his eye. And it's going to be fucking well. He's going to be closing his eye constantly in the combat. I mean, when you're moving around and shit, doing these acrobatics and stuff, trying to dodge, being cut in half by Kagane, that blood's going to start pouring down your face. It's going to get into your eye, and it's going to hurt like hell. And so, you know... No, he's probably gonna have to use just one eye to fight the entire time so it's not looking good he already got a wound that's pretty damn bad that's an annoying wound to get out of all wounds he could have got that's probably one of the most annoying ones okay so nice grandma not oh Naki straight up calling me as a grandma my boy my boy you do you not realize you two are being shipped together and this man calls her grandma yo that's not how you get the girl my boy that's not how you get the girl. That's not how you do it. And Naki, you j just chill. Okay, going in. 
the hell's happened to this panel? The, the scan, a scan on this page, I can't really understand. Okay, so... Big, like, a big panel. Looks like a lot of movement chasing going on. Coming around... Oh! Holy shit! Okay, so Uli just stabbed this man that was coming up around him. He stabbed this man in the face... Without even looking at you. Damn! My boy! What the fuck? This man just stabbed that man in the face without even look. Look, okay, let, let, look at this. Look at this page here. Page 7. Go to page 7. You know, the right panel and all that. You see in the panel, they're having a heat fight, like, you know, fighting each other. And when you see someone skidding around coming up behind Ui, and Ui stabs this man in the fucking face without even looking at. Bro! That's badass as fuck. This, this man just stabbed that man in the fucking face, yo. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit. Okay. Time for our stroll to end. I'll put a collar. Oh, dog jokes. We're getting into that. No, no class. Oh, how wonderful. I think I'll keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> Bro, that's uncalled for, my boy. That that's that's fucking uncalled for. Coming up behind my boy. Bro, that's chill. A sneak attack. What a, disobe a disobedient pup. My Shiba back home is much more intelligent. <laughs> nice special class for a die bit. Damn, are we going in? He's going in. This man has no chill. Whoa there. Oh, I see how it is. So, I'm going to assume this person that just popped up is the Devil Ape Coma. I I'm assuming that's who it is because of this dialogue. See, whoa there, get getting in front, grabbing the attack, and getting in front of her. The way it looks and the way he realizes it, it, it looks like he knows. So, I'm assuming that's Coma. I I'm assuming that's who I think it is. Now, it might not be, but I'm assuming that is. Let's go to the next page. Oh. So, we're just moving on to the next part. Okay. So, let me back up real quick. So, that, th this is our cliffhanger, I'm guessing, to this fight for this chapter. Uh... I, I, I'm going on a limb here to say that's Coma. I think that's the Devil Ape. I could be wrong. It could be someone else. But judging by the person, you know, with the reveal and all that, even, you know, last week's chapter's cliffhanger, even this, it, I, I feel like that's Coma. So next page. So we're going over to the Nishiki, Roma, and Kuro type fight. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Oh, what? Is Roma saying? Are, are, I think that's Roma saying. Are you okay? Wait, no. Wait, who's saying that? Okay, I'm assu assuming that's uh, Shiko saying that, actually. Are you okay? And then Roma replies, no, I am not. Okay. Did you hit her? Yeah, I pierced through her, but I didn't manage to hit her cocker. So n nothing lethal then. No, no lethal damage. That was so mean. I'm just a girl. Shin Papa Shin Shit What the fuck? She fucking said what? Shin Papa Shin Whoa, whoa, whoa. let me type this in. What the what the fuck is this? Shin Papa? What 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 the fuck is this? No, okay, Papa Shin Shin Okay, there's a person called Shin Papa <laughs> and a Pope pops up too on fucking Wiki, so Okay, so we have the Pope pop uh, pop up for Shin Papa or whatever, so uh I uh, don't know. I have no idea. So is she singing or is she saying we're jumbled letters? Okay, let's see, that was so mean. I'm just a girl. Shin Papa She She Shin. Yeah, it, it sounds like she's rhyming or trying to. What the fuck is she doing? Niminyaga. Okay, so clearly she is singing or mumbling stuff. I have no fucking idea what Roma is trying to say. I have no idea. Chibits that are smarter than me, if you have any idea what she's singing or what she's doing, please let me know in the comments below, but I have no fucking idea. 
But anyways, that face though. That that face of Rolla. Like she straight up that face looks fucked for her. Shit. Just singing or mumbling or whatever, charging at Nishki and Kuro. Damn, that would have fucking hurt if Nishiko would have took that hit. That looks like that would have impelled his ass. So he dodged. Nihi. Okay, so she she's still singing or something. I have no fucking idea what she's trying to say. Senpai, it's useless. You're just trying to catch goldfish again. They'll slip and slide through your fingers, and that's a big pain. Die. What? Oh, so, yeah, you're just trying to catch goldfish again. They'll slip and slide through your fingers, and that's... And that's... A big pain. I need to reread this a couple times to get that full understanding what that means what she's trying to say to him. But anyways, uh, Kuro jumps in and it cuts the Kagane. Okay. Just saved Nishiki. And gets a slice of the stomach as well. Might be near the Kakuho too. Hmm. Shiko. Oh, Roma's yelling for Shiko. Shiko. What do you want? <laughs> what the fuck, this man? <laughs> this man's face is just fucking great, dude. This man is just sitting there watching this and be like, Shiko! What do you want? <laughs> this man is fucking great. Feathers! What the hell type of face is that? Roma, what face? I. Telephone. What the fuck? What the fuck? I. I what the fuck is going on? Okay, so I, this was like, I, <laughs> just telephone symbol. Kagane, there's a lot of them. I'll strike them all down. Girl being very precise, damn. Oh, shit. Girl just got fucking. Saso, nuclear symbol, what the hell? A Kokaku, so he's a dual type. Oh my god. We kind of already know this is real. But oh shit. Another card. Hmm. Okay. Sheena just pretty much letting us know it's real from Tokyo Ghoul Jill. Okay. A Kokaku, so he's a dual. No, he's more than a dual type. He's definitely more than that. Okay. Get down, Flatty. <laughs> Nishiki. Damn! That has to hurt! Oh, shit! Oh! I would not want to take a hit like that. Just, like, look at how painful that looks, okay? This man is coming in with full force. You know that man moved quite fast to get over there to Kuro. This man moving in with full force about to stab her. Nishiki comes up out of nowhere and tells her to get down. She bends her head down. He swings this fucking kick right into his side, his left side of his body. You've got to imagine the ribs he just broke in that hit. Oh, that probably might even fucked up his spine. Jeez. That looks painful as fuck, dude. Like, you can just tell the way his body is positioned and all that. The way he's, like, turning. Oh. Oh, that's gonna fucking hurt. Oh, my God. It's with the fucking symbols. Like, the, the finger point. What the hell? Finger pointing, finger pointing, finger pointing. Deaf. Thanks. Mm. Well, so he's got two different type cognate. Damn it, how annoying. Tummy. Ow. That man really fucking took a hit. Damn, you can tell it the way he's acting. Shikorai, a basket, uh, Shikorai is a basket case, but he's got a special sort of kakuhu. That's why he was in prison. Oh. 
Oh, interesting. Interesting developments on Shiko, you know, the supposed protagonist of Tokyo Ghoul Gel. Hmm. Which means we still got the upper advantage, Senpai. I'm going home. No, no, what, what? There is no fucking way I'm looking at the right, what? Let me just continue real quick. I, 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 I'm gonna laugh right now, but I don't even know what to say. Senpai, fighting is just so useless, don't you think? Nope, I don't. What? What? My boy! Did this dude do well? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna, let me just back up here, okay? This man takes a fucking hit to the gut, which, granted, I said looked fucking painful. That looked really bad. This man's like, ow, eat my tummy. <laughs> and then you have to wear, you know, Roma's at, at, at using analysis on his fucking cockos saying he's very different. He's special at why he's in prison. And then all of a sudden while she's saying, like, we have the upper advantage, or like the, you know, the upper advantage senpai, pretty much senpai's Nishki, we have the advantage. All of a sudden this man, he grabs his fucking stomach and he's like, I'm going home, sad face. I hate That is fucking good. That and, and what makes that even better is Roma. She just looks over to the right, like you just left me, <laughs> my boy. This man just straight up left. He just left Roma. He's like, "Fuck you. I'm going home. I hate this." <laughs> That's just too good. That's fucking good. And you can just see the look of defeat and worry in Roma's face. Yo, that is great. That is fucking great. That That is just 10 out of 10 right there. Roma's getting all cocky. We got the upper advantage, senpai. Man runs away. He's like, fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> okay. That, that, that was good. Ashita. Ashita. I'm clapping for you. That, that's good. You, that, that's good. Oh, shit. My eyes watered because that's funny as fuck. Uh, uh, senpai fighting is just useless, don't you think? Nope, I don't. Okay, uh, let me just go on. <laughs> Oh, we're switching scenes again. Oh, okay, so I guess that's the clip. Hey, fuck. Oh. Okay, so we're going to Ure and Almo. Oh, well, I guess this is a good thing, because we got to see in last week's chapter Almo and Stecoration. So, now let, let's see where this goes. A lot of death lags. That man got a big-ass death lag last week. That excuse for Quinque is a pain. I won't be able to whittle it down with repeated strikes. He so. My boy. My boy. I mean, I've been watching Keiju. I mean, I've been seeing the beauty of booty bump girls from Keiju. But damn. Shao's ass, dude. Jeez. <laughs> My boy. You see that? Damn. Top panel, page 16. He's out. Oh, Lord. Damn. Damn! I did everything that's gonna stop like yeah that ass Okay, oh, yeah, let me continue on. Blade What the hell? Oh one got cut blade No Fuck you Did he saw just say fuck you Okay, first Nishida gives me that ass shot, okay? And then, Vanny gives me this just like, the way she's, her stance with her leg and the blade, you, my boy, that's so fucking badass. And then to make it even better, she's like, fuck you, dog. Damn! Damn! 
Damn! Damn! Okay, so Queen K, Kuai, one for Rinkaku, an A rate blade type. Queen K is that she's asphyxiated to each of her limbs. So she's asphyxiated different to Queen K to her limbs. Okay. Uh, he saw us speaking in Chinese here, and that's what she literally says. So the fuck you, I'm assuming, is actually Chinese, but she literally says fuck you. Oh, okay. Okay. Damn. Spicy. That's <laughs> spicy as hell. Let's go to the next page. My boy almost shit, you getting fucked up! This man getting fucked yo, he's getting filleted like a fish. Damn. This man's getting multi-teamed. Oh my god. You only buy our Oh, even Psycho's coming in? Damn, this poor boy almond man. This man, I feel bad. This man might actually die. Damn! He took it. He took a hit from Psycho's Kagane. Squad leader. Psycho's. This school's ownership rights. No. Whoa, whoa Psycho's trying to get ghoul ownership rights on Amon? No. This is the one that saved you that you mentioned earlier, right? Well, yeah. It's Batmon. I can uh, hazard a guess at what you want to say from that look on your face. What is our duty? Do you tend to hobble yourself and hesitate every time you become in debt, in debt to someone? Regardless of what may have happened in the past, if before you, someone stands as your enemy, you must treat them as such. Is that dialogue what I think it's implying? Is Ashita trying to foreshadow what I think he's trying to foreshadow? Let, let me read that dialogue again. Regardless of what may have happened in the past, if before you, someone stands as your enemy, you must treat them as such. So let's put this into better terms. Kaneki was once their allies. He had a past history with all of them. Now you could say Kaneki would be their enemies. He's the enemy of CCG. Is this implying that maybe there might be a Q, a Q or a Quinque squad or whatever versus Kaneki? Or maybe Ure versus Kaneki? Hmm. That might be what she is trying to imply. I could be looking too far into it, but that's what it looks like to me. Anyways, let's continue. Where he's slinging his Quinque into all. That fucking hurts. I don't want to. Remote activate. Lose anyone anymore. Oh. My. God. Almond just got fucking wrecked. This man is literally a punching bag in this fucking chapter. This man literally became a fucking punching bag. Holy shit. First, Hisao kicks his ass. But Psycho squishes this man. And then Ure uses his freaking uh, Quinque against... Damn! That Quinque is eating Almond alive! Look at that shit. It's literally coming out of his body eating him. might die. I, I don't think he would die before he meets Kaneki, but shit. This man is getting wrecked. So, Dan, that, that's the end of the chapter. Next issue, where does the tide of battle turn next? An old justice burst forth. Damn, that was the chapter of Tokyo Ghoul, so... Holy shit. Holy shit. What's everyone's thoughts... About this chapter, how do you feel about all that? How do you feel about Ure's declaration of how he won't allow Psycho to gain ghoul ownership rights on Almon? How he will put Almon down and kill him regardless of the past of what he's did or done? Just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.